Welcome to Random Product Critic, a channel about critiquing anything that can be bought. Welcome back. We're going to look at these little metal models today. Um, they go by a few different names, Metal Works, Metal Earth, um, Steel, Do-It-Yourself, things. Um, got a few different names, but basically what they are is a model that's made out of metal that you hook together with little tabs. Um, so they come in these sheets that are you know, about half, half the size of a piece of paper normally, and you bend these sheets into completely flat sheets into different models. So you can see right here I have the USS Enterprise, um, one of the later versions, um, and you can see quite a bit of detail on this. It's got the NCC 1701D. Uh, this is a modification that has extra blasters on it. Um, you can see there's a lot of detail to scale um, for the most part. And basically uh, what you do on these is you take apart the little metal pieces. So there's different sizes, and I'm going to actually pull out this Klingon ship to show you. Um, so you can see on here, for example, this this piece right here. Um, you can see there's many different sizes of pieces. So this little box might be one piece that you fold over. Um, you might have another one for this edge. You might have another one for the inside. Um, so you can see there's these different pieces, um, all different sizes, and you basically bend them with like uh, needle nose pliers or something and you got to be pretty fragile so you don't break them but they are pretty sturdy too um, it's you know basically solid steel and on the edges of them you get these little tabs so let me zoom in on this like really macro this so you can see it maybe there you go so you can see there's these little tabs that you bend over and these little slots you put them in and bend them over and it holds it together really well. Um, some of the models are a little more complicated because of the different angles they have. So if we go back to or compare these two side by side, um, so you got the USS Enterprise and the Klingon Warbird. I think this, maybe that's Ramyun. I don't know. I don't remember anymore. It's been a while. Um, so you can see this one's got way more flat shapes on it, um, whereas this one's got more curved things. Um, so to achieve the curved effect, you can see all the little lines that are going towards the center. You basically bend them all slightly, just a tiny bit to achieve this curved effect. And then you hook the two ends together on this disc, and it keeps it you know, in a nice curved shape. Um, what makes these really difficult is they are just really small. Um, the tabs are... You know, really hard to get a hold of sometimes so you got to be really precise with your needle nose pliers um, and then there are little pieces like this uh, that you know if you're not careful they bend pretty easily so you have to be you know kind of kind of fragile on those um, depending on how good you you know bend everything as well you might get really sturdy connections or really solid ones uh, versus really loose ones so for example I didn't do I didn't do this one very well and you can see it's kind of moving so it also depends on which way you bend the tabs and um, you know how you want to keep them hidden and everything and that will determine how strong they are so there's a lot of different types of models these ones are a couple Star Trek ones uh, I've got an image search on my other screen and it, I, I'm seeing a Ferris wheel, a tank, tractor, planes, boats, architecture, Star Wars. Like there's there's literally hundreds of variations, and they're all different qualities. Um, obviously, your your uh, your higher quality ones are going to be a little bit more detailed, and might have some interactivity. Like the Ferris wheel one might actually have the have the little cars swing back and forth and it might spin um, whereas other ones might be more stationary so you know you'll, you'll get different qualities this one you can tell has quite a bit of quality um, all just laser laser etch so it's not a huge deal to do that much quality on the steel because it is controlled by laser um, but in, in general they range from 
probably about eight dollars to around fifteen dollars. Um, you know, so this one, this one, these two are probably, I think they were like fourteen ninety nine each. It's a little bit pricier, but it is because they are, you know, a specific TV series thing. They have higher quality. Whereas I have a couple other ones like a, a basic uh, plane that you know not as much quality, and it only costs like five dollars. Uh, granted, that was on sale as well. So you can get these from Amazon or really any like hobby shop. Uh, I recommend you know kind of looking on Amazon, see what's available, because there's some really cool ones. Um, you know, especially some of the architecture ones. You got like the Eiffel Tower. You've got the the Dubai. Uh, you know that tall tower. I forget what that's called. You got like Transformers. Uh, there's just so many awesome different variations on these and they're all really fun to do they don't take too long um i i believe this one took me the longest out of all of them at maybe maybe two or three hours on and off uh, mostly because i kept having a hard time getting the bends exactly how i wanted them um and then again you can see that it is a, i didn't do it super well because it's a little bit flimsy here um, and, and something like this one, they do have a stand on some of them. Uh, sometimes you have to position the stand just right as well. Uh, so like this one, I had to bend down this little edge because it was top heavy. So it would fall over quite a bit unless I did that. So you do have to you know, make sure they work a little bit um, to get them to stand up and things. But overall, these are, these are awesome. They're really fun. Uh, really any age that can handle smaller things and has a little bit of strength to be able to bend the metal. It's not super thick. Uh, you can see on this edge, like that's two edges put together. So it's not super thick. Here's another edge. It's just really thin. Um, and in, in general, it's pretty fun and doesn't take too much time. You know, it's you don't have to paint them or anything or sand them down. So you don't have to spend a huge amount of time and they still look pretty awesome. Um, I'll put a link to Amazon for uh, a couple sample searches for these. Um, I recommend trying at least one just because, you know, they're pretty fun to build and you've got a lot of different options. And um, again, these are, so these are metal works. You might uh, hear metal earth or, you know, steel kit or something a lot of different names and they range usually from about eight to fifteen dollars uh, depending on the quality and the size and whatnot so hope you like this video and we will see you in another one thanks for watching if you liked our video please subscribe don't forget to thumbs up the video as well as share with others that may find this video interesting if you'd like to make a request click the link below in the description and also feel free to take a look at some of our other random product videos.